My name is Kenneth Barnell. Since the age of 16, I've been incarcerated for a crime I had nothing to do with. There was a crime. It was the murder of Terrence McCoy. We know the shooter shot one bullet in the air and then three at the victim. And then one of them veered off into a car and shot Robert Lucas in the leg too. We were just talking about the person that got shot at in front of Morgan. I will never forget when the detectives came in my home and said that they were looking for my grandson, that he was suspected of murdering someone and then they suddenly arrested him. They came and got me from there. I was in the house when they came. When I was in uh, interrogation in the homicide, you know, they kept asking me questions. They interrogated me for a long time, but, you know, I, you know, I was adamant that I was innocent. I was adamant that, you know, I didn't know anything about the crime. Uh, uh, and, you know, any time they asked me something about it in that way, no, I said, no, I, you know, I, I, you know, I was adamant that I had nothing to do with it. My friend Anthony, I seen him. Then we went to the movie. What we did was when we went to the movies, we went to it was a uh, we got a mall called Golden Ring Mall. Got back, right? It was dark. If he was guilty, I'd be guilty. We was together. You really didn't do it. In the Kenneth Bond case, they had cartridge casings. They had live rounds of ammunition, they had a firearm recovered, and they had a couple of uh, projectiles recovered from, uh, I believe, the autopsy. He had 25 caliber live rounds of ammunition on his person. Uh, you're not gonna tell me that they were, that they came from that particular gun just by extractor marks. You need a little bit more than that. You need a lot more than that. Extractor marks are unreliable. Extractor ejector, they're unreliable to make a call. Nowhere in this report says anything is positive. So how are you going to convict somebody on ballistics evidence when nothing is matched or nothing was positive to each other or positive to a specific gun? Um, and if that's what, based on the case that that uh, conviction was 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 uh, resulted of a conviction, and that that's. That's insanity. That's basically what it is. Monfried is um, Kent's. Didn't care too much for him, period. We put money together. We worked hard to get the money because we didn't know about lawyers at the time. But he definitely told me that I don't believe I could do uh, uh, the best job I can. You know, him uh, uh, being a drug addict. Later on, some years later, he had, he was disbarred for being paid to do some things to file uh, things on behalf of his clients that he never did. He never came to try. I had paid him, and he he was not. He was no show. Was doing something. <laughs> I don't know. Doing something. What was your perception of Monfried, his defense lawyer, at the time of the trial? He was, um, you know, a seasoned, mm -hmm. you know, well thought of attorney. If I thought he was, I don't know, falling down drunk or falling asleep or something, mm -hmm. I would have noted it and brought it to the court's attention. He actually fell asleep during the trial. A lot of attorneys listen with their eyes closed. I did not know that I was, um the only witness who had identified a person in the crime that evening. I made it clear to the homicide de detectives all along that I saw this person for all of maybe two or three seconds. It was dark, dimly lit. The person had something covering their head from the very first time that I was shown a photo array, um, all the way through to the second time, and maybe even, I'm not sure if there was a third time. Um, the first trial, second trial, I was never 100% sure that 
Kenneth Vaughn was the person that I saw that evening. I had indicated to the police officers and to everyone else who had, who had asked that I, I couldn't be 100% sure. Um, I thought that they had more evidence than what they turned out to actually have. Life should not have been taken away from him based on the testimony that I provide. Kenneth shouldn't have been convicted based on, on the ballistics, just on extractor marks. No. And eyewitness testimony or flawed eyewitness testimony, uh, no, there's, there's, it's got to be re-looked re at, should be re-looked at. Somebody said my dad was right here. I've never stood here before. Never, never, you know, never had a reason to. Now I'm here, I'm just like, wow. It's, this is, um, there's a lot, because this is the place where, you know, my family you know, was changed forever. He was my first grandchild, and I loved him dearly. I want to say that, thank you. I'm supposed to be the one sacrificing and being there for you, but you know, it's like our whole relationship in that way has always been reversed because, you know, you always been the one sacrificing for me. You know, your large reason uh, 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 why or behind how I made it through all these years being in this situation. But coming down here and having to build a relationship with your father in that way. And, you know, I just so much appreciate how, you know, your love has always been unconditional mom and dad here. It means a lot to me. You know, for being in here for so long for something I didn't do, and then telling people that and knowing that people still may have questions, and, you know, being in here and people looking at you is the worst of the worst, you know, and you know, it's hard to overcome that. And, you know, I just don't want that title, you know, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't I'm not pressed about any money or anything like that, but I really want to prove my innocence. I really want to see and show that I've been in here for, you know, all these years for something that I had absolutely nothing to do with. I want, I want them to know who my dad is. Took myself uh, 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 elementary uh, physics, rudimentary physics, and, you know, the basics of particle physics and astrophysics, the mentoring program, the uh, put uh, 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 older prisoners or younger prisoners. We teach them skills like uh, 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 fatherhood, masculinity, uh, leadership, community building. And I'm hopelessly optimistic. We haven't been in here for that long for something I had nothing to do with. My mindset has always been, how can I make the most out of this situation? Uh, I want to give a message out to Terrence's mother. I want you to know that um, I'm sorry for your loss and that I care for you and your son and I care for your story and I care that you you find your peace with this situation because that's what I that's what I want to do. Even though I don't know you and even though my you know our, our family has a relationship it does I, I, I love you I want to I want to get this issue resolved so you know, the next 20 years of our life maybe aren't hell and maybe aren't difficult. Maybe we can we can feel like justice was served and justice had our back this time. There's no justice for Terrence McCoy if the wrong person is in jail.